Welcome to the My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video on how to update household information using My Compass PA. When the user has active benefits, they will be able to update their contact information, income information, shelter and utilities, phone number, email address, and resources from the My Compass PA dashboard. To begin the process, the user will tap the Benefits button in the menu to the right of the Home button. On the Benefits screen that opens, the user will see cases that were opened and or cases closed in the last 90 days. The user scrolls through the information to review it. As they do, they will see their case number and active benefits, benefit details cards, contact information, and household information, including, if applicable, employment currently on file. To update household information, the user would scroll further down the screen. Here they will see a Report a Change button, as well as SAR History and Change History sections. Please note that the demonstration video, Viewing Benefit-Related Information in My Compass PA, addresses all the functionality that the user sees on this screen, except how to report a household update. To report a household update, the user taps the Report a Change button in the lower portion of the screen. On the Update Household Info screen that appears, there are eight potential categories that can be updated. This demonstration video will show the changes the user can make to each section. To begin, the user taps the Home or Mailing Address card. The Home and Mailing Address screen appears. Here, the user will see the home address, county, school district, and township or borough on file. They can update the information in each field by tapping inside the field and updating any applicable information. For this example, the user is moving to a new city in Pennsylvania. They update their street address, the city, the zip code, the county, the school district, and the township or borough. Toward the bottom of the screen, the user will see a checkbox that reads, Select if your mailing address is the same as your home address. This box is checked by default. If the user wants to update their mailing address, they would uncheck this box. If they do, the app would open a mailing address section for editing. This user's new mailing address and home address are the same. They leave the box checked. When the user completes their changes, they scroll down and tap Confirm and Save at the bottom of the screen. A pop-up will appear. A suggested validated address will be shown. If the address that appears under Suggested accurately represents the user's address, they would select that address. If it does not, they would select the provided address, which is the address they entered in the mobile app. After verifying their address, the user taps OK. The user taps Confirm and Save at the bottom of the screen to complete the changes to their home and mailing address. When the user completes updates in each section, they will see a blue check mark in the card they edited. Please note that if the user taps the back button from this screen, they will see a pop up that reads, You're leaving with unsubmitted changes. Submit your changes now, or we can save them for you to submit later. The demonstration video will address the pop up toward the end of the video when the user decides to submit changes. For now, the user wants to continue with their updates. The next section that users can update is Change to Job or Income. The user taps the Change to Job or Income card. The Income screen will appear. Here, the user will see a summary of the household members and their sources of income. The user can review and edit existing income or add new income by tapping the plus sign in the Add an Income field. Also at the bottom of the screen, the user will see a message reading, Let us know about any other change in income that's not SSI, RSDI, employment, or unemployment. Examples of other income are listed. After reviewing the household's income, the user decides to edit a member's income. They tap the Edit button next to the income they want to change. The Individual's Update Income screen will appear. Here, the user edits the income that the individual made, hours that the individual worked, and confirm the start date by entering it. After adding the start date, 
the user taps the Add button at the bottom of the screen. When they do, the app returns to the income screen, which shows the individual's updated income information. Next, the user would like to add income. To begin, they tap the plus sign in the Add an Income card. The user taps the Household Member drop-down to select the member whose income they want to change. After selecting the Household Member, the Income Type drop-down will appear. The user taps the drop-down, and Available Selections appear. The user taps Employment. More fields appear for the user to complete. The user adds their Employer Name, Gross Amount Before Taxes, Pay Frequency, Hours Worked, and Start Date. When they do, at the bottom of the screen, the Add button will be available. The user taps the Add button. The app returns to the Income screen. The income that the user added will appear. The user scrolls to the bottom of the screen and taps Confirm and Save. The app returns the user to the Update Household Info screen. A blue check mark displays in the Change to Job or Income card to show that it has been edited. The next available selection is for reporting pregnancy, birth, or adoption. The user taps the Pregnancy, Birth, or Adoption card, and the Update Pregnancy screen appears. The user taps the Female Household Member drop-down selects which household member is pregnant, enters the number of expected children, and the due date. When they do, the Add button will be active. The user taps the Add button. Having added the pregnancy, the user then taps Confirm and Save. The app returns to the Update Household Info screen. A blue check mark displays in the Pregnancy, Birth, or Adoption card to show that it has been edited. The next section is Utility Change. The user taps the Utility Change card, and the Update Shelter and Utilities screen appears. Here, the user will toggle to the right the utilities that they are responsible for paying. If they are not responsible for paying for a utility, they would leave the toggle alone. The options are Heating and Cooling, Gas, Electric, Phone and Internet, and Other Utility Bill. An example of other utility bill would be water and sewage. There is also a space for the user to enter their mortgage or rent amount for the household. This user has no changes to report. They tap the back button in the upper left of the screen, and the app returns them to the Update Household Info screen. Next, the user can report changes regarding phone numbers. The user taps the Change in Phone card, and the phone number screen appears. This screen allows the user to edit their primary phone number, and if they choose, to enter a secondary phone number and provide the best time to call. This user purchased a new cell phone and needs to update their primary number. They edit their phone number. As they do, the Change button in the middle of the screen becomes available. After entering their phone number, the user taps the Change button. The app prompts the user to confirm their change. They tap the radio button next to their preferred number and tap the change button at the bottom of the screen. The app returns to the Update Household Info screen. A blue check mark displays in the Change in Phone Number card to show that it has been edited. The next available change is Email Address. The user taps the Change to Email Address card and the email screen appears. On this screen, the user can update their email address if needed. Otherwise, they can tap the checkbox to indicate that they would like to keep the email address that appears, but have their caseworker contact them using a different email address. If the user taps the box, a second field will appear that will allow the user to enter their desired email address. If the user makes any changes on the screen, they would need to tap the Change button. However, this user decides to make no changes and instead taps the Back button. When they do, the app returns them to the Update Household Info screen. The next available selection is to report a change in resources. The user taps the Change in Resources card, 
and the Update Resources screen appears. The screen begins by prompting the user to let us know about any new resources you own or changes to resources you've already reported. Include details like their value or changes to their value. Directly under the text box, the user will find resource examples, including a new vehicle, a savings account, a checking account, a trust fund, a family savings account, or savings certificate. The user would enter a description of the resource in the box provided. The user wants to report a new resource. They tap the text box and enter the resource information. After entering the resource information, the user taps the Confirm and Save button at the bottom of the screen. The app returns to the Update Household Info screen. A blue check mark displays in the Change in Resources card to show that it has been edited. The last change that the user can report on this screen is any other change. The user taps the Other Change card, and the Other Change screen appears. Here, the user can report a change that's not listed in another category. In this situation, the user enters the name of a new household member and the date on which they moved in. They then tap the Add button at the bottom of the screen. When they do, the app returns the user to the Update Household Info screen. A blue check mark displays in the Other Changes card to show that it has been edited. The user has the option to review changes before submitting their updates. To do so, the user taps the Review Changes button at the bottom of the screen. On the Review Changes screen that appears, the user will see all the changes they made so far. They can tap Edit to return to any of the sections and update them, or they can tap Cancel to remove that change. In this instance, the user would like to update their phone number. They tap the Edit button in the Phone Number card. When they do, the app returns to the Phone Number screen. The user adds a best time to call by tapping the best time to call optional field and entering the best time to call them. They tap the change button, at which point the app will prompt them to confirm their phone number. The number is correct, so the user taps the change button. The app returns to the update household info screen. The user then taps the review changes button. Again, the review changes screen appears. The user scrolls down to review the remaining changes. At the bottom of the screen, the user can either submit changes by tapping the Submit Changes button or tap Cancel to return to the list of changes previously made. If the user taps Cancel, a pop-up asks, Are you sure you would like to cancel all changes you've started? All changes will be deleted. A Cancel Changes button and a Go Back link appear. If the user taps, Cancel Changes. All changes will be canceled and deleted. If the user taps the Go Back link, the pop-up will close and the user will need to tap Submit Changes. When the user taps Submit Changes, a success screen will appear. The screen informs the user that their changes were successfully submitted to their caseworker and that it may take three to seven business days for the changes to appear in the app. The user taps the Go to My Benefits button at the bottom of the screen, and the Benefits screen opens. At this point, the user completed updating their household information. They tap the Home button in the menu, and the app returns them to the dashboard. Thank you for watching this My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video. Please note that links to all My Compass PA demonstration videos appear in the video description below. Have a great day.